talk about helping your baby establish healthy eating habits. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends introducing foods other than breast milk and infant formula when your child is about six months old. Ask your child's healthcare team when they recommend starting and with which foods. Even before that first bit of banana or spoonful of cereal, there are things that you can do to ensure that your baby's eating is on the right track. Responsive feeding is an approach that says it's a parent's job to provide a variety of healthy foods and age-appropriate servings at meal times and snack times, and it's the child's job to decide what and how much to eat. Babies have signals for letting caregivers know when they are hungry or full, just as they do when they are tired or need changing. When you watch for these cues and respond promptly, it teaches your child to recognize hunger and fullness. Ignoring or overriding these cues, such as getting your baby to try to finish off a bottle when they are pushing it away, um, can lead to unhealthy habits such as overeating. Encouraging your child to listen to their own body and allowing them to choose what to eat and when to stop will help them build healthy eating skills. Babies are not ready for pretend, pretend kitchen play yet, um, but you can provide a few um, baby safe food toys for them to play with. I like these farmer's market toys because they have a nice texture to grasp and they feature fresh fruits and vegetables. Babies can explore them with the, their different shapes and sizes and colors with their hands and with their mouths. You can name the different foods and um, show how yummy you think they are. Books about food, especially those with photographs of other babies eating, are another way to highlight healthy eating. One of the most effective ways to encourage your child to eat a variety of healthy foods um, is to set a good example by eating a wide range of healthy foods yourself. It also helps if you avoid showing disgust or disinterest in foods. Children are more willing to taste foods when they can investigate them with their other senses. Touching and smelling food helps them get comfortable with the idea of eating it. So allow them to get messy and play with their food. My kids did not like wearing bibs um, and they got food under them even when they wouldn't rip them off. Um, so instead, we would have them eat either in just their diaper or with a feeding shirt. Feeding shirt is um, just a slightly too big t-shirt that they would wear when eating. Afterwards, I would peel it off, um, wipe off the food, and hang it to dry for the next time. The relationship that you and your child establish around food now will shape your child's eating patterns for years to come. By modeling healthy eating, helping your child recognize hunger and fullness, and allowing your child to choose what to eat, you guide your child toward a lifetime of healthy eating habits and positive food experiences. I'll see you next time.